Okay, welcome to Electron Line. Let's try our hand on this one right here. So we're trying to find out what the angle theta is that will satisfy this equation. So let's first move the negative 4 to the other side. That gives us the tangent squared of theta is equal to positive 4. Taking the square root of both sides, we can then say that the tangent of theta is equal to plus or minus 2. So we're looking for an angle so that the tangent of the angle is equal either a plus 2 or a minus 2. And remember the the tangent of theta, if we graph that, it kind of looks like this. So there's our y-axis, there's our x-axis, the tangent of theta has a graph that looks like this, and it has an asymptote over here, it has an asymptote over there, and that would be minus pi over 2 and plus pi over 2. So we are limited between a half a pi on the positive side and a negative half a pi on the negative side, so that means that the value for, for um, uh, the 2, so that would be the y value, negative 2 would be right here, and a positive 2 would be right there. And so we're looking for the values of the angle, in this case, instead of x, we use the angle theta, so that's kind of the way you want to look at it. So that means there's two possible values, one for the tangent of the angle being positive 2, and the other one for the tangent of theta being negative 2. Okay, so let's use our calculator for that. So let's put in the radian mode and put in 2 and take the inverse tangent because then we can say that theta is equal to the inverse tangent of either positive or negative 2. So when I use the positive 2, I get theta is equal to 1.107 and of course that is in terms of radians. And then if I use the other possibility, negative 2, so 2 negative, oop, to negative and take the inverse tangent of that, I get theta is equal to minus 1.107, and of course that's also in radians. If you convert that to degrees, that will give you about 63 degrees or negative 63 degrees from the positive x-axis to the positive theta axis. So that's how we solve that equation. Again, it's important that you understand what the graphs typically look like and what the possible values can be in order to solve it. So it's not simply plugging into your calculator and see what number you get. You also want to get a feel for what it looks like on the graph so that you can have a relationship between the numerical answers you're getting and what it looks like on the graph. And so when we want to do that, that means that this would be 1.1 and this would be minus 1.1 for the in radians for the angle value, and that's how we do that.